Donald Trump says President Obama's new plan won't work. Why does he th say that? Well, we went straight to Trump Tower to find out. Donald, nice to see you. Thank you. The president spoke today, answered some questions about the website and also the fact that so many Americans have lost their individual insurance policies. What do you think? I just think it's a mess. There's never been anything that I've ever seen like this. It is a total catastrophe. And now what he's doing, look, it was the big lie. And now he said, we'll delay the lie for one year. That doesn't do anybody any good. So they'll get their insurance back. Number one, the insurance companies won't do it. They're not going to say, oh, we told you last month we're not doing it, and now we'll give it to you for a year. So it was the big lie that's becoming a total catastrophe for the country and really hurting people terribly. Well, I imagine, though, insurance companies, if, if they can make money by reissuing, reissuing these canceled policies, that they'd be interested in it. But they don't want to do it short term. They don't want to be treated like that, where, oh, you can do it for a year, and after that, we're not going to let you do it anymore. They got to be treated like everybody else. I mean, this is a plan that doesn't work. It's catastrophic. Now, the website is incredible, because it shows the gross income. It's not the biggest problem. It's just the beginning. But it shows the gross incompetence. And I know the president was 35 minutes late for his news conference, which bothered a lot of people, because it shows something. And lots of bad Like, show what? Well, it just shows you're supposed to be in time for a news conference. It, to me, it shows he probably had no idea what they were doing at the time that he was supposed to be there, because it's all being done on the run. This is all being made up and done on the run, and that's the problem. What, what do you tell the American people, I mean, as they look at this and they think, well, now at least we got a, a year, maybe? Those were the individual policies. I mean, how, how would you have, what would you have advised him to do? Well, I said it first on your show. This thing is going to die of its own weight. It's happening faster than I thought. And when the president said, I understand he said that he knew nothing about the website. How can your whole administration be based on Obamacare? The whole thing. I mean, your whole legacy is Obamacare. And you're not even enough involved to pick the people that are doing the website. Why didn't he pick Google? Why didn't he pick Microsoft? Why didn't he pick somebody? You know, a couple of these companies, they would have done it for nothing. We're into the website for over a billion dollars. I spend anything. I think they just... Make them up. Smart people in the office. So we spent over a billion dollars. We were at 635 million. It was all screwed up. So instead of going out and getting somebody that knew what they were doing, they hired the same company to keep going. It's a real disaster. It's so embarrassing for the country. But the website is just sort of the, the most visual problem, is that the whole problem about we would have had cancellation policies even without a, a website that went kerplunk. The website shows the incompetence, and it's just right out there for everyone to see. That's what the problem with the website is. It's a disaster. But also, the website costing, it's going to be over a billion dollars now. And you have a company that blows it, and I know a lot about websites. You don't fix websites. You start all over again. They're trying to fix it. Too complicated to fix. They're starting uh, you got to start it all over. But why aren't they going out and getting some of our great American? They're using a Canadian company. Why aren't they getting some of our great American companies? Now I understand why the young woman who is the face of the Obama website, I mean, she's being harassed, and, you know, that's totally understandable. Even using the woman. Everything they've done is so bad. It's just, it's, it's cartoonish, except that it's affecting so many people so badly. Uh, the, the, un, the most important part is the fact that, as you note, is that it's affecting so many Americans. A lot of people are terrified, especially those who are, are very sick and have had these individual policies canceled. But what about the political ramifications? Now, this will, this grandfather clause in this extension is for one year. It gets through 2014. We've all know that the 2014 midterm elections are, are around the corner. Will this help the Democratic candidates? Will give, this give them enough cover for those who would hold Obamacare against them? Well, first of all, there's a question as to whether or not he's even allowed to do that. You know, he's changing the plan. So I don't even know that he's allowed to do that. But on the assumption, it doesn't make any difference. I think this is catastrophic for the Democrats. I think this is going to be catastrophic for Democrats. You know, for a little while ago, a month ago, we were all talking about the Republicans are in trouble. They were never in trouble like the Democrats are in trouble right now. I think Obamacare and this whole situation, the gross incompetence of what everybody's been watching, everybody's been reading about, and everybody's been seeing, there's nothing else people are talking about. I think it's just a disaster if you're a Democrat and you want to get elected or reelected. The president apologized again today. Two questions. One is, um, has he apologized enough? 
And two, is there anything that he can say for this in your mind? Well, it's not a question of apologizing. It was a lie. There's no question about it. It was over and over and over again. It was a lie. Why? He said things that weren't true. No, but why, why would he have lied? Why would he, have, why would he have lied? Rather well, I think he lied to get it passed. Because had the Democrats, I mean, the people that voted in favor, had they known this was going to happen, and he, he wouldn't have gotten it passed. If you think about it, had the Democrats, Democrats known that a thing like this was going to happen, he wouldn't have gotten nearly enough of You have Democrats now that are against him more than the Republicans. So it was a lie that was made in order to get the legislation passed. It worked. The problem is the legislation doesn't work. Advice for the president today? A drop back and punt. You're going to have to get rid of Obamacare as you know it today. I think you'll probably have to scrap the whole thing and start all of it. People in this country were very happy with their plans. Many, many people were very, very happy. We could have better than even that. We could have great health care in this country if we knew, if we had people that knew what they were doing. Obamacare is a disaster. It's going to have to be scrapped. Down, nice to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.